Hello everyone, I'm Tiago and I'm recording this video to demonstrate how to use this graph coloring application. So the first thing that we have to, to do is to describe our graph in our input text file. But how do we do that? So as an example, I use this graph over here with a couple of vertices and some edges connecting them. So if you look at it, you're going to see that we have five vertices and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven edges. So how do you represent it in our input text file? The first line is going to be the number of vertices. So here you can see that we have five vertices and the next ones are going to be um, the connections. So we're going to be describing the connections between the nodes. So here you can read 0, 1. It means that this node 0 is connected to this node 1 and 1, 2, 2, 3 um, you can see here 2, 3, um, 1, 2, and so on. So to see the output, we're just going to run the program. So gcoloring, we run it, and we can actually see the output, which is the LaTeX file, um, that if we compile it, we're going to see the PDF um, with the same graph that we entered, but colored. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, let's let's do it. Um, you can see that the program is going to tell you that the graph was read successfully. And if we press enter again and see the result, um, that's what we're going to get: the PDF file with the same graph colored. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to know more details about um, how the the program works, you can go to my website or my GitHub account and see the implementation. See you guys next time.